What do you do about ruined towels and linens at your Airbnb? That's our topic of discussion on our vacation rental mailbag show for today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by the community over at Turnover Cleaning Tips. There's a community of people. It's you, it's me, it's Airbnb hosts, it's house cleaners, it's managing partners, it's co-hosts. Everybody's coming together and they're asking their Airbnb cleaning questions. We can help you and you can find answers there at the community over at turnovercleaningtips.com. All right, on to today's vacation rental mailbag when our topic is on what do you do about ruined towels and linens? All right, that's a huge question and it comes up a lot because every Airbnb, every vacation rental, every short-term rental has this problem. You buy towels and linens and then they get ruined. All right, the first question is, do you only buy white? Somebody said, I see lots of Airbnb hosts and they only buy white towels and linens. What's the reason for that? Is that to give it the hotel look? Okay, the answer to that is no, it's not to give it the hotel look and feel, but it is because you can actually see stains better on the towels. And so you want to provide your guest with the cleanest, most sanitary version of whatever it is you have because you want your ratings and reviews to go higher. And if you give them stained towels and bedding, you're not going to get a very good high rating and review. So they want to provide you with the very cleanest, most sanitary version of whatever that is. And so with white, you can see if there are any stains, if there's any makeup, if there's any residue or anything left on the towels and the bedding. And so that's the reason that they use white. That takes us to our next vacation rental question, which is how do you keep them white? All right, well, that's also a good question. And you guys know that I'm a huge fan of OxyClean. We did a video a few weeks back on the power of OxyClean and how it removes lots of stains, up to 101 different kinds of stains. It's pretty amazing stuff. I'll put links in the show notes to that video as well so you can check it out if you haven't seen it. All right, so what you do is you take the laundry that's soiled and you put it in a five-gallon bucket and you fill the bucket full of warm water and you put a fourth of a cup of OxyClean in there and you soak it anywhere from six to 24 hours. Now, as you soak it, it's going to release and remove all of those stains. In the video that we created, we did all kinds of things from blueberry stains to spinach stains, wine. It was amazing. So the reality is you can remove a lot of different kinds of stains with OxyClean. Now, you can also wash your laundry with OxyClean. Just use it as a laundry soap and it brightens everything up. So if you're trying to keep your linens and your towels white, OxyClean is a great solution. Now, a lot of Airbnb hosts have recommended also that they soak their linens and their towels in hydrogen peroxide. And the root ingredient of OxyClean is hydrogen peroxide. When it's mixed with water, it releases the oxygen, and that's where you get the bubbling effect and the stain removal. So both of those would work as viable solutions. All right, the next question is, what do you do if your guests just flat out ruin some towels? Now, the ruining of towels, the most common ruining of towels, is where they use them for hair dye. If they're doing it yourself and they're hair dyeing the t- the, their hair and then they use these white towels, they come off terribly stained. And a lot of people don't use the hair dye at the Airbnb. They use it at their own house because they're going on vacation. They want to look nice on their vacation. When they get to the vacation, it hasn't fully rinsed out of their hair. Then they wash their hair and out comes the coloring on the towels. So that is icky and it ruins the towels. Another way to ruin the towels is with makeup. So instead of using a makeup foundation remover or a soft cloth pad or a cotton pad or a cotton ball or a remover pad, what they use is they use hot, wet washcloths and they wash their face and it ends up with all the liquid foundation and the mascara and the eyeliner and all that stuff. And then you have this really spooky looking rag, wash rag or a towel that then is very difficult to get out. So those are the main causes of ruining towels for Airbnbs. It's also the main reason that pillowcases are ruined. People go to bed and they don't take the makeup fully off. Then they lie against the bed on the pillow and stuff comes out of their hair, stuff comes off their face. Fake tans come off their face onto the pillow and it ruins the pillow. Then they roll over and they wrap themselves up nice and cozy in the sheets. It ruins the sheets and it could ruin the comforters. So there's a big problem. And so as a guest, my recommendation would be take off your own makeup, prepare to go on a trip and take your own makeup remover pads, take your own makeup remover, 
take your own whatever it is you're going to need to get the makeup off your face so that you don't damage stuff on the way out the door. Because a lot of Airbnb hosts will charge you if you damage the linens or the towels. Now, as a host, my recommendation would be please provide makeup remover pads and makeup remover so that you can protect your investment of your towels. Now, one note on towels is you can get some really nice towels. We've got links on the Turnover Cleaning Tips site where you can get some really nice towels, but you can also buy them at the big warehouse discount places like Sam's and Costco. You can get really nice towels for about $8 a piece. They're not expensive, but if you have to replace them frequently, that's where the expense comes in and they do get expensive. So a couple of tips there. Another solution for ruined towels and bed linens is to hire a laundry service. There are a lot of laundry services that will provide the linens and the towels to you and they will do all of the cleaning. So they provide you the linens and the towels, you use them, and even if they're ruined, even if they're soiled, you give them back and they build into your price, your monthly price that you pay them, they build in the price of replacements. So if they have to go replace them, they're not nickel and diming you, you're not nickel and diming your customer. So that's kind of an easy way of getting around that. But you have to build the price of the linen service into the price of your stay so that you don't go broke just paying for laundry, if that sort of makes sense. All right, then one more thing that is a great idea. There are Airbnb hosts and vacation rental hosts that have a bucket of what they call strange towels. And the strange towels are icky, weird towels that for some reason or another either didn't come clean or they're not white, they're a different color, they're a different size, Maybe somebody's cut a corner of one out. I mean, they're just weird, strange towels. And so in their house rules, they will say, hey, these are our linens and our towels. You're welcome to use them. There's a fee if you damage or steal them. And there's also a bucket in the laundry room that has strange towels for anything strange our guests may do. And then there are times when you're going to go off and do some little side project, whatever it is, and you need a strange towel. And so then you borrow one from their little strange towel bucket And when you're done, there's no harm, no foul. You don't get charged for it because it was strange and odd to begin with. It might've been discolored. It might've had a stain. Who knows what's on it? But you are free to use it. And then you can either throw it away when you're done or maybe they wash it and recycle it. Who knows? So that's another option as well. So that's what you do in the event that you have ruined towels and linens for your Airbnb or your vacation rental. Alrighty, I hope that helps you just a little bit. If it does, Pass this on to an Airbnb friend of yours. Who knows, maybe this will help them out. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.